welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you are here today. My name is Skye. I am the owner of our online home decor shop, House and Home, and today I'm bringing you a really fun video. I am so excited because we're going to be cooking and baking together. I just got the new Magnolia Table Cookbook for my birthday a few days ago, and I am ready to start trying out some of these recipes. So for our first recipe today, we're gonna to be baking some zucchini bread. I am really excited because I love zucchini bread and I hope that you guys will give it a try as well. I will link all of this video's recipes down below in the description box, so make sure you check those out if you're interested in trying them as well. Today's video is a collab with my new friend, Stephanie. You guys are going to love her. She is new to YouTube. She is killing it. Her videos are so beautiful and amazing. Definitely go and check her out for some cleaning, cooking, and decorating inspiration. Her home is absolutely beautiful, and I just know that you guys are going to love her. I will link everything in the description below for you guys so you can go and check out her channel. I'm gonna film this video slightly different than all of the previous what's for dinner and cooking videos I've done just so you guys can get a closer look at the food as I'm preparing it. Let me know if you guys prefer these videos shot this way or if you would rather I back it up a little bit so you can see a little more of myself and the kitchen. My oven is preheating to 350 degrees, and the first things we're going to do is mix together the oil, sugar, eggs, and vanilla. So we need one and a quarter cup of vegetable oil. We need two cups of sugar. One tablespoon of vanilla. And we need four eggs. Now we're just gonna whisk everything together. So now we're gonna work on our dry ingredients. Now that everything is mixed together and fully incorporated, I am going to start working on my zucchini. So Joanna says that we just want to thickly shred the zucchini. She says about two medium zucchinis. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash mine and start shredding them. I have two zucchini here. They're about medium in size and I went ahead and just washed them and trimmed the ends off. Now I'm gonna come in with my grater this is just a cheese grater. Um, I have an electronic one, but I decided I'm just doing two, so I will use this. Uh, it shouldn't be too tricky. 
Joanna says to use a nine by nine pan. I actually do not have one. I have an eight by eight, I think, but it is dirty, of course, being used in the fridge. So um, this is close to a nine by 13. It's just slightly smaller. I am going to use my coconut oil spray and just spray this up real good so nothing sticks. And then I'm gonna pour in my batter. Our bread is ready to go in the oven. The oven is preheated at 350 degrees. And the recipe says that we are going to bake it until the center comes out clean with a toothpick, which is about 50 minutes. I'm gonna watch mine really closely just because I did end up using a different size pan as hers but it looks amazing and it smells so delicious. I cannot wait to try this out. The zucchini bread is out of the oven. It smells divine. Chad is working upstairs and he ran down and said, oh my goodness, I need to eat some of that. It smells so good. So I'm gonna let it cool for another 10 minutes or so and then we're going to cut into it. This zucchini bread was seriously to die for. We all loved it so much. I am already planning to make another batch this weekend. Hey friends and welcome back for another yummy recipe. We are continuing to work our way through Joanna's new cookbook. We're having the Sunday pot roast tonight and I think it looks and sounds so amazing. I love a meal that I can prep early in the day and let it slowly cook throughout the day so that it is just quick and easy to plate and eat in the evening. So this recipe stuck out to me just because of course it looks so delicious here and also because I have actually not made a pot roast in my oven before. I have a Dutch oven and I have used it for so many different yummy recipes but I have yet to cook a pot roast in there so I thought this would be the perfect time to test it out. If you have this cookbook as well and are following along with me, we are on page 205. The only thing that I'm really going to be doing differently than Joanna is I am going to um, use sweet potatoes instead of russet potatoes. That's just like our family's preference. And I think I'm doing everything else the same. So let's get cooking. The first step is to preheat our oven to 300 degrees. So I'm gonna do that here real quick. And then we're gonna rub the roast with olive oil, salt, and pepper. This recipe calls for a five pound chuck roast and I could not find a five pound chuck roast so I ended up getting two smaller roasts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these rubbed up. The meat is sizzling. It is on, it's pretty much on high right now. The recipe said medium high just to sear the um, sides for about six to eight minutes on each side. So I'm actually gonna have to do a little extra work just because I have two roast in there. So I'm gonna have to make sure everything gets nice and seared. But I thought I would take just a second to chat with you guys. Um, if you are new here and you're coming over from Stephanie's channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you decided to check us out. Like I said earlier, we own an online home decor shop called House and Home and we just love all things home over here. So you can see the ivory vase and the spoons that are to the left of the stove. Those are both from our shop. I love to share home decor on this channel and I just think that it is such a special thing to be able to make your house more like home. Share decor hauls from not only our shop but Amazon, Target, Hobby Lobby, Marshalls, Home Goods, you name it. And I also love to share like DIYs. We're in the middle of a huge home renovation project right now in our master bedroom. So you'll get to see a lot of that coming up soon if you subscribe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this meat. 
Okay, our meat is seared. We got all sides. I ended up actually taking one of the roasts out and searing both sides of the other and then flopping them and then adding them back together. So it's it was a little more work to have more meat, but it'll be good because it will feed our whole family and then we will have leftovers this way. We are going to add the potatoes. And again, I said I'm gonna use sweet potatoes, so I actually pre-chopped these earlier while my kiddos were doing a little activity at the table. So we've got our sweet potatoes and our carrots. Our onion halved for some yummy flavor. A few sprigs of thyme. The recipe calls for two cloves of garlic minced, but I actually bought this at Walmart not that long ago and it saves so much work. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple of teaspoons of this garlic that is already minced. I cannot say this word to save my life, but we're gonna add a quarter cup of, I say Worcestershire, but I think some people say Wor Worcestershire, Worcestershire, I don't know. But we need a quarter cup of it. And then we're gonna add two cups of beef broth. Now we are done. We're just going to go ahead and cover it up, pop it in the oven at 300 degrees until the meat starts to fall apart and the veggies are tender. She says that it usually takes about four hours. So I'm going to put mine in the oven, go on with the rest of my day. The kids are napping right now and I've got some orders to package for house and home and then when they get up we're going to go and enjoy the beautiful sunshine it's about 70 degrees here today dinner is done and it is delicious i am telling you it literally melts in your mouth the only thing i would do differently next time is wait a little while to put my sweet potatoes in because they did get a little mushy hey y'all so tonight we're going to try out joanna's chicken street tacos I am so excited to test out this recipe. We are big fans of tacos in this house. We usually make ours with ground turkey, so I'm excited to experiment with some shredded chicken. I also am going to be making some pickled red onions, which I think are gonna be so yummy on these tacos. So my oven is preheated to 375 degrees. I've got my seasonings all mixed up here. We've got paprika, chili powder, garlic salt, cumin, and black pepper. Now that I've gotten those all stirred up, we're gonna go ahead and just sprinkle them on to the chicken. Now we're gonna cover it with foil and bake it for 35 to 40 minutes in the oven. While our chicken is baking, and we're gonna prepare our pickled onion. So I've got a large red onion. I have one and a half tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of salt and some red wine vinegar. I'll be the first to say I am probably the worst onion cutter ever. As soon as my eyes start watering, it is game over. So I should have made these slices a little bit thinner. I have put the sugar, salt, one cup of water, three quarter cup of red wine vinegar into my saucepan and I am bringing it to a boil, whisking every couple of seconds and then once it is at a boil, we're going to turn the heat down and let it simmer for five minutes. Now that our brine is finished, we are going to pour it over our onions. We are gonna let these guys sit for an hour 
It is super hot right now, so it's gonna get to room temp, and then we're going to cover it and refrigerate until we're ready to put them on our tacos tonight. One thing that I didn't mention at the beginning of this meal is that I like to cook my dinners early in the day if possible so that they're ready to go at night. We have three little kiddos, as I think I said before, so the like three o'clock post nap until dinner time is kind of crazy around here. We're trying to get a lot done and prepare for the evening, wear the kids out and play outside if the weather is nice. So I try to utilize our nap time slash quiet time in the afternoon for prepping dinner for the night. So. For me, this worked out perfectly. It is 3.30, so I have plenty of time for these onions to cool and then to refrigerate them before dinner tonight. Okay guys, the chicken is out of the oven and it looks delicious. Now I'm going to just kind of shred it up. Okay y'all, in true sky fashion, I'm making a hot mess over here. I've already splattered my cookbook. So I decided to go ahead and take the chicken out of the baking dish and just shred it in this bowl here. It is all coming apart very nicely. And then once everything is shredded, we're gonna go ahead and add it back into the juices and just let it kind of soak some of that liquid up. Let me show you guys a little close up. It is so delish. This recipe uses corn tortillas, but we actually prefer flour tortillas, so that's what we're using tonight. Do these not look so delicious? We ended up adding some sliced tomato and some fresh corn, and then Chad put these two sauces as well as some sour cream on his, and these were such a hit. They were so delicious. Chad's gonna take a taste test because tacos are like his favorite dinner ever. What do you think? So good. All right, friends, that is a wrap for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you're like me, working your way through this cookbook, please let me know what you are making and loving in the comments below so that I know what to try next. I have some really great decor content coming your way in the next couple of videos, so make sure you stay tuned for that and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss a thing. Make sure you go and check out Stephanie's channel. Everything is linked in the description below for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that you have an amazing day.